Sword sprayed like buckshot. Kale's got my throat caught. You say I'm mature from my age. The stage was set when you kissed my neck. Trapped in your truck, sitting in the rearview mirror. I'm out of luck, praying for a way out. He's staring to gravel, turn the key, touch my knee. This thing is just massive. Holy cow. I can't, uh, I can't take credit for this. This is actually my friend's. But I'm going to have some coffee out of it. No, that's the best way to go about doing this, and not make a mess everywhere. I guess you just tip it. Oh, there you go. Or use a 12 cup pot of coffee. And it filled pretty full, actually, because there's actually like a weld line here or whatever that is. So it's a double wall insulated vacuum. So maybe 14 cups at the most. There's still plenty of room if you wanted to add cream or sugar or. If you want to do a meal in here, like a stew or a soup, it's pretty cool. And uh, this one here with the coffee or dye on the back, just like the uh, the mug there, very similar design. So that's cool. Some black rifle coffee all around. Three hours ago, I made this uh, the pot of coffee and put it in here, and it's it's piping hot. I don't know if I burn myself here. It's hot on the tongue. <laughs> Stays nice and hot. And I did heat up the container first with some hot water inside it. So I was tagged by a couple guys. So Second Chance George, novice revivalist, real nice guy too. Well, everyone on YouTube is a nice guy. So top three brands for outdoors. So Walt Revin Jr. It was his video, the, uh, the tag responses video the AEDC pack, and what's your favorite backpacking company or gear. So why not put it all into one video? Why not? That's great. We've got Squishy. Right, Squish? There we go. Move that over. we got Elf. And we got Black Rifle. And I was commenting on uh, Hatchet Survival. Hey, that's where I got this black hiking bag. But uh, I was telling him it'd be cool if on a Tasty Tuesday he does an MRE, makes his own homemade MRE, and then on um, the following Saturday video he does after that one, he could maybe go out in the bush, go on a hike or something, see if that homemade MRE will give him enough fuel, enough energy to get by. Screenshot from Black Hawk Down. So here's one that I wanted to show Markle. I've got um, a kit here that it's not a homemade MRE, but it's close. This is something that my friend, well, she made some kits for me to bring to the homeless. Like, we got coffee and tea and uh, some noodle packages, uh, oatmeal, more drink mixes, like iced tea and stuff like that. Some cereal bars, raisins, all kinds of stuff in here. And, uh... Great news, everybody. I just happened to look one meter from where I put down my canteen cup after my last trip. Just set it down. And then there's a shelf where I got my bug out bags. What's in the end of my bug out bag? Because they're laying sideways. The canteen that I couldn't find for so long poke, uh, was poking out of the zipper because the zipper had opened up a bit. So, oh no. Obviously staged YouTube clip coming up. You guys hear that? I hear an intruder. Wrap the night vision. Ugh. Turn off the light. Yeah, there, that's much better now. So there's the lamp I was using for light in here. There's my phone. The Samsung phone in the UAG. UAG. This here is something I bought for work because I wanted something that I could see a long distance any time of day, right? Whether bright light, night, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter with this because it has the adjustable IR. I, um, it's not really designed to be inside a tent, scoping out an item in your tent, but it's uh, Bob Love and I got it on eBay on sale. One of those things I, I made a, a deal or an offer. A video still photo or just scope out with it any light source 
it really doesn't matter. It runs on three triple A's and it's really great. It's it's definitely something I'd recommend if you needed something night vision. That's what I was playing with here was the manual zoom. Plus there's also digital zoom if needed. But uh, especially like just the most random stuff. Maybe I gotta read a license plate on a vehicle really far away or see if something's vacant or not. There's these uh, awesome gloves that you guys have seen before no doubt. And if you haven't, well, here's your chance. They're made by Schmidt Smiths, local Canadian company here. And they're amazing. So these are basically, in a nutshell, a firefighter glove that's going to help you get into vehicles, get out of a hot situation. There's even winter ones that are you know, lined, but these are waterproof. They've got enough layers to them. They're going to protect you from heat, you know, direct flame impingement, uh, stab, cut, all kinds of great stuff. Great, great gloves. And I've, I've purposely cut into these somewhere as hard as I could with the blade, a very sharp box cutter, and cut the grip portion where it's just a grip material, and that's it. I've, you know, stabbed them and stuff. Uh, when I first bought them, there's a little card because there's a video that's uh, demonstrating how great these are and uh, all the different things that they can do. And there's it says, please do not try and replicate what you see in this video. You know, just so people aren't going to hurt themselves and try and sue them. And I took my my knife and just went to town with, it was actually one of my K-bars. It's a K-bar folding knife. And I just went to town, right, just stabbing the heck out of the inside of the glove and nothing. Every part of that glove is just amazing, or gloves. And, uh, uh, let's see here. Rothko makes great gear. So between uh, Rothko and, I don't know if I have anything else Rothko in here right now, but between Rothko and Voodoo Tactical, like this plate carrier. Cool. And of course you gotta put in your own plates and liners and whatever inside. And this has actually gone through a few generations where now it's completely soft, which I've shown in some videos on both channels the making of, the testing, and seeing what it's going to take to get it completely stab and slash proof. But yeah, Rothko, and oh man, these these batons, these are amazing. And uh, Voodoo Tactical, those are great, great brands. And not just for my work, you know, not just, even though I my duty belt, all that stuff, right? But uh, for every everyday use, if you want something that's going to be durable, like when I made my yeah, it might be on a different bag. Like So I've got one of these bracelets that I made back in the fall. That's with Rothko Paracord. That's really good. Bowfang radios. I love these. There's actually a guy named Daniel Kazar. Or maybe Kazar? We'll go with Kazar. He had uh, shown very similar to this radio. And uh, this is actually a big oversized battery. So this is the UV5R. So this is basically just a big oversized scanner. UHF, VHF, you can listen to FM radio on it. And uh, this little gizmo here, this is just something I got off of eBay for cheap. There's nothing worth talking about this brand, but we're doing this apartment building. And so this was handy because you don't have to talk super loud, picking up the vibration from your vocal cords. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Here. Testing, testing, blah 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 blah, words coming out of a radio. I'm really not sure how it's going to sound until the playback. But yeah, so anyhow, there you go. That's how that works. This little pack of three radios I got was nice and cheap. These are the uh, Balfang 888s. Um, actually, let me check. It's um, Biofang BF888S is what these ones are. 
and they were dirt cheap for a pack of three of these, all coming with chargers. And they come with little earbud type doohickeys. So, like, that little add-on that I was playing with, that's really good when you don't want to have to yell across a place and still be heard. It's a, it's a Nagoya NA771 aftermarket antenna. Because the one that comes with it, it's only about six inches long, right? So it gives you much better range and stuff. As you guys saw in that one video, or heard at least, this is what I was using for the weather radio. Let's actually see if we can get... There. And that's that. K-Bar. Hope I can get this in the shot. Ah, uh, it's K-Bar. <laughs> I love K-Bar. I've had K-Bar knives for a long time. Of course, this here, my favorite. And uh, got some other K-Bars handy, like this one here. This is the newest one. Just got that for Christmas. And boy, was that cool to unwrap that and get yet another K-Bar. Was not expecting that. This guy here. Got one in the AEDC that you guys saw already, and uh, let's see if I have any other K bars laying around. Love K bar knives. As you guys have seen, I've got the chopper, I've got the bottle opener, the spork, another little boot or neck knife. This one's nice having that sturdy clip there. You can clip it right on your boot or you know, a bag or something like that, and it's not going anywhere. And uh, no other K bar stuff in here right now. And of course, the Rook now. This has been since September 25th, since my birthday. I've had this one, and uh, it's great. It's it's sturdy. I really didn't know what to think when I got it. I thought, okay, I've got a nice gift here, but how is it? Because I never owned one, and hasn't chipped or broken or started coming apart. This is a Max Pedition bag, and uh, the brand's escaping me, but I think it was about 175 Canadian when I looked it up on Amazon. I'm loving it. It's a really good bag. It's it's great for AEDC for almost everyday carry. I think uh, I think I'm gonna keep using it. Honestly, I don't see any reason not to. And it's so much more capable than that other bag. Redbird matches. Those are great. Great wooden matches to use. And uh, they even have the little mini packs. And Coleman makes really good camping products. I have a few Coleman things here and there. One of the things that I really like though, here we'll do it like the, the makeup. But uh, their fire sticks are really good. It just seems like a, a cardboard kind of wafer material and you just break off what you need to start a fire. When I was doing my, my oatmeal with the failed spilled cup, that's what I use this to get that fire going. Uh, military surplus. This is Canadian Armed Forces or CAF. This is uh, just basic, you know, like you're looking at a plastic water bottle that was probably made 30 years ago, if not longer. Plastic canteen. And it works just fine. I've got all kinds of surplus gear that I've collected over the years. Um, some of the oldest surplus gear I still have. The, uh, the duffel bag that I carry my work gear in and you know, I've got an extra coat, uh, pens, notepads, uh, battery charger, uh, charging cables for my phone. My uh, night vision is normally in that bag. It's a really big OD green duffel bag. For people that don't know, OD green olive drab. So for the longest time, Canada didn't have camouflage. We just had OD green, everything. Head to toe. The soldiers wore it, their equipment wore it, the vehicles wore it. But uh, yeah, I have this really old duffel bag and that's probably the oldest piece that I still have to this day. Maglite. This one is way oversized, okay? This is a 6D cell. You can focus the beam. You know, I guess if you want it to kill a zombie with one swift strike, play baseball with it, 
This is oversized though. My 3D cell is what would normally be hanging on my duty belt, and that's more than enough, you know. Checking things out if you got a knock on something. Hey, get out of there! You know, some hobo hiding on you or something. Mag lights are amazing, and they're just, they're so durable, right? You know, you don't have to wonder, am I gonna break this? But, uh, yeah, for outdoor gear, backpacking, whatever you want to call it, that's my response. Uh, as for this little tent camp out, I wanted to try it out because it's been a long time since this thing's been set up. This thing's been around uh, in ownership for 15 years. It was set up in 2010 just uh, to try it out. When I was with the person then, it was, there was access to a holiday trailer and uh, having kids around, she was never really interested in tenting anywhere. So I just sat around and it's moved from place to place with me. It's been in storage rooms galore. Um, I can't really say much about it. It came from Sears, which is no longer around anymore. It's got some neat pockets. There's a really good rain cover that goes over it. It's a big tent. It's, it, it goes quite big. I don't have enough space where I'm set up. It probably goes another meter each way, honestly, at the bottom there. <laughs> can't really stake into concrete. I'm down in a basement right now. But um, it's... It's a decent tent though. It's it's big and then behind where you're viewing from there's a whole foyer area that can be completely enclosed or is completely enclosed. There's no way bugs or anything can get through there. So you got somewhere if you're all muddy and stuff you can get your muddy clothes off, you can get your dirty boots off and you know you got a pet that's excuse me all rambunctious whatever keep them on that side. You know you come in this way. You got a kid that you don't like just keep your kid out in the foyer. Right. It's honestly, it's a pretty cool tent. I, I don't know, it's probably listed as like 8,000 people. But if you're all, you know, like hot dogs side by side, I would say you could comfortably sleep six people in here. It has no thermal value or anything like that. It's definitely not a hot, hot tent. Uh, hey, I got a great idea. We'll call it the warm tent. Hanging out in the warm tent. There we go. Great, great, great talk, guys. All right, well, anyhow, we'll do the, make sure everybody can see it. Oh, there we go. Make sure nobody sees my fat. Black Rifle Coffee. Anyhow. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out, you know. Squishy. Elf. Hey, guys. Ah, here, have some coffee. There we go. Anyhow, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, anything that you want more details on, anything that, uh, you know, maybe I forgot to put a link to, whatever, just let me know. Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care.